Hello guys, what is good? <laughs> Hold on, pat my wig down. It's not a wig. <laughs> if you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am. Oh, Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. Virgos, you are up second. You know why? Because your energy was low. Normally, your energy isn't low, but your how does Bay feel about you numbers was a little low. I don't know what's, what was going on with you. Um, again, when I feel like your, your energy is low, the views are low, that lets me know that maybe there was something that I didn't do. I couldn't reach you. So then when it's time to go next, you go next. I get you out the way. And the only reason why Scorpio didn't go first is because Scorpio's energy was the lowest of the low. And they ended up getting a special video. But Scorpio is up next. <clears throat> so sometimes it just depends. OK, so this is going to be your November 2018 top of the month love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And. I want to say hello, hello, if you are brand new with me. <laughs> Ow. Now, if you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to my tribe, I love you all. Thank you guys so much for all of my new subscribers. Ow. Okay. Okay. Now. There are many, many, many tarot readers on YouTube sharing their gifts with you. But if you are subscribed to me, welcome home. All right. Now, we're going to examine the love energy that surrounds you, Virgo. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. If you want to know what's going on with you in the sky, go ahead and listen to your correspondent. How does Bay feel about you video for November, which is already uploaded for your sign. OK, in this particular video, I will be linking last month's last month top of the month love reading for you in the description. OK, I will be time stamping this for when I pull this card. OK, Romance Angel Oracle card. OK, we will be pulling one based on your energy, flipping it over or pulling for your bottom. OK, that bottom energy is very important to me and it is a driving force behind my readings um, for the sake of my new eyes and ears. Thank you guys again for subscribing. I am going to link that video because, you know, if this one resonates with you, I want you to be able to go back and kind of watch last month and find out if you are cross watching for Virgo. We're going to get in your business today. Um, no, if if you're cross watching for a Virgo, we're going to get in Virgo's business today. So <laughs> they going to know you're going to know what's really good with them. OK. Um, and I think that is it. Um, I will be time stamping this again. If you want to know what's going on with you in the sky, listen to your corresponding. How does Bay feel about you for the Virgos? Okay. Cross watch, um, for your sun, moon and rising Virgos and any Zodiac sign that is catching me on this video and find out. Sorry, that's my lemon flavored sparkling water. Get ugly, Virgo. All right, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, again, I will be linking that for you. I want you to go ahead for all of my new eyes and ears, my new subbies. Um, go ahead and click the link in the description and listen to uh, what was going on with you at the top of last month's. Chances are it was uh, posted about 30 days ago today. Energy is up and down and round and round. OK, I think that's everything. Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get started. Okay, again, top of the month love reading is going to carry you from the first until the fifth, first through the fifteenth for documentary purposes. As we examine that love energy that surrounds you in that time frame, again, when you watch it is when it resonates. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. Let's get popping. All right, universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, give. Oh, one last thing. I'm sorry. Um. I wanted to let you know my low energy um, um, zodiac signs, which you are one 
I am going to be straying away from my Rider Waite as the main deck, and we're going to be using Gilded. When I was tapping in today from a general perspective for um, the energy, my Gilded Tarot was popping. The energy has shifted. How can I forget this? The energy has shifted, um, and it's not as heavy as it was last week. So, so far, the energies are, even yesterday, the energy has shifted literally from the 11-11 yesterday to 11-12 because the Scorpio video was uh, a little bit heavy. Um, but again, tonight's energy seems to be popping. Go and check your zodiac sign. Um, as far as your astrology, go check your horoscope and find out what's good. So I will be using Gilded as a main deck. And I'm, it looks like I'm clarifying with Morgan so far, okay? I just wanted to let you guys know that for all of my, um, my, my regulars, okay? Get ugly. Universe spirit angels and my guides. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Give me the romance angel oracle card that surrounds Virgo. 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 Okay, so we pull for your bottom. Now we're going to do the bottom of the first card over here. Ooh, release your ex. I can't even make this up. Aries just got this card. Retreat. All right. Before we get into those, let's do your bottom of the bottom. Virgo, let go of control issues. Let your friends help you. This could be the one. Those are contributing energies. That's how I roll. Okay. Bone. K. All right. So spirit is telling you to release your ex. This isn't new. This has been your energy for a while. Release the egg. The time has come to clear your energy. I'm going to break that card down for you the same way I broke it down for Aries. Some of you guys can be connecting with an Aries because that was their card. Now, I have shuffled off camera in between, tapped in. I'm talking about all that. And for this card to pop out again, that's crazy. You would have think that thought that I never even touched the deck, but I did. Okay. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Take heed to that disconnect from the world um, card because on the 15th, all of these videos will be uploaded. But on the 15th, not only will Mercury, I mean, Venus go direct, Mercury is retrograded in the sign of Sagittarius, okay? Just saying. So release your ex. I'm not going to talk about this yet until I get your cards because I don't want to speak anything over it. Um, but I'm already knowing right now what this is going to be. Um, your energy has been um, very much so having a new person or being interested in a new person or loving on a new person. And, and spirit is telling you that you have to let this go. Um, the time has come for you to clear your energy. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm not taking it, but I wanted to show you. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, I look at the Romance Angel Oracle cards from time to time a little bit different. I don't read them all as one message. Sometimes the top title is different than what they're telling you on the bottom because there are so many variables. You know what I'm saying? Um, Aries, I believe with the cards that was in their reading, they did release their ex. They were healing. They were actively healing. When we clarified their energies, they did. And they are releasing that, that, that energy when I clarified. Let's see what yours do, okay? Universe spirit angels and my guides, give me the energies that surround my Virgos, okay? Oh. My Virgos, please. Five cards that represent the energy that surround my Virgo spirit, please. Five cards. Show me. Show me, spirit, please. Show me. Okay, that one wanted to come out, but it didn't pop out. Show me, spirit. Show me. We're going to get to the bottom, Virgo, of what these cards mean. If I have to clarify them, I will. Show me, spirit. Two popped out. Three. 
We're taking all of them. Okay. Yeah. You're not releasing your ex. You're trying. But I don't see that that's what's going on. Oh. Let's be fair. I don't want to take any of those. Two cards, please. Two cards remain. Show me, spirit. And I will say that with this gilded tonight, every card that pop out has been popping out in twos right on top of one another. And when I clarified with Morgan for the Aries, every time I clarified the energies, the main energy, two and three cards popped out as a clarifier. <laughs> okay, two cards. That, that's one. That Ten of Pentacles that I showed you came back out. Your energy wants me to, Spirit wants me to talk about this Ten of Pentacles. You got two tens. I'm going to tell you that. One last card, please. The abundance is popping. That's a good thing. But you also have the Ten of Swords in your energy, which is definitely talking about this release your ex energy. One last card, Spirit. Show it to me, please. Show it to me. One last card, or I'm going to pull it. There we go. Ooh, baby, seven of cups. All right, bottom of the deck energy is the page of wands. We'll get into that. Bottom of the bottom is the king of pentacles. Could be that X. Bottom of the bottom is the two of pentacles. Aries also had this. I feel like if you guys are not uh, connecting with an Aries, an Aries, you definitely are surrounded about around fire. Now, not up here. But in your energy. So someone is, is definitely. Um, and we have the Empress. Okay. Contributing energies. Money. Abundance. Fertility. Could represent a pregnancy for some of you guys. Ooh. All right. So you are being guided to release your ex. And you're also being guided by spirit that it's time to disconnect from the world. I understand why you are being guided to disconnect from the world because you have to clear your energy and I feel like you got too many too many things picking at you. You are holding a burden. I don't know who this is for. This is a cycle. This is a cycle. The cycle is about to end. We got 210. There is a fight, an imbalance. Didn't I see that Two of Pentacles? Where is it? Between. Thoughts over money. But the burden, the mental anguish that you have over this Ten of Pentacles has an emotional pull on you that you're juggling. And in this particular deck, Gilded doesn't show the person tiptoeing like they're in about to fall. You're, you have your feet planted on firm ground here. So I don't feel like you're clumsy. You have both of these things that you are trying to juggle or reassess in your hand. Divine um, light guided, okay? Um, holding up both. This is an emotional pull. This thing that you're going back and forth about, it has an emotional pull on you because you have an interesting, the way that the cards fail is very interesting. 
But let's go ahead and talk about your energy. So those are the contributing energies. And let's talk about where what your main bottom of the deck is. Your bottom is the page of wands. Okay, so we know that our wand energy is our fire, okay? That's why I said some of you guys are definitely dealing with fire here. I see it, although it's not up here. I feel like with this, with the, with the wands here, I just feel like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is just somewhere involved in your overall energy, okay? So this to me is, it, it could represent a lot of things. Again, we definitely will clarify, but I think that this is just you tapping into your creativity for some of you guys. This is um, a message of passion. This could be so many things. It doesn't quite give me a clear picture right now because, oh, let me, no, I got to get right. It doesn't give me the clear picture right now because it doesn't necessarily speak to this energy. The main energies on the board don't speak to this. It's kind of a contradicting energy. So if you're feeling enthusiastic and confident, creative and courageous, so to speak, energetically, you're feeling like the page. If this is how you're feeling, if this is your energy, then why are you disappointed? Why do you feel let down and betrayed with the five of cups? Why are there options that are confusing you with the seven of cups? Focus. The options that look attractive, the temptation that surrounds you. But we know that although you should be focused on the cup of the divine, that you're focused on all of the rest of this. And all of these options may not be a viable option for you. And then we have our double. Let me put you up here. Then we have our double 10. So on one hand, finances are looking good with the 10 of pentacles. That's your growth. That's your abundance. But then on the other hand, from a mental perspective, um, you feel like you are just mentally exhausted. Like what what I say is mentally dead, like to the point where the burden is so much to the point where you just tap out. Now, this isn't I mean, the swords are in the back. So this is a mental death. <laughs> and at that point, there needs to be a complete tearing down and rebuilding of your thoughts about something. And this definitely has something to do with love. You have agonized and agonized and agonized about this situation so much to the point where it probably keeps you up at night. I'm very, very shocked that the nine didn't come out, but it makes sense the 10 is out. See that nine came out in your energy once before, if I'm not mistaken, you were up, anxious, up at night, can't sleep, woo wop the bam all of that. It has completely transformed to a full-blown 10 to the point where mentally you are just completely deceased. You're not even there anymore. And I think that it has a whole lot to do with releasing your ex. You are not clearing your energy and there is something that you are not accepting. You are trying to get away from things that no longer serve you. But this is you moving. This is you leaving. I don't think that this is you accepting this burden. I don't think that this, the way that you feel, you're faking. You're faking it. That's the reason why I talked about the fact that if energetically you're feeling like the page of wands, how in the hell are you feeling like the page of wands with all of this? You're faking. You are putting on a face. I'm going to clarify this right now because there is something that's just not jiving well with me. I'm very, very surprised false self mask didn't come out. But I mean, this is the six of swords. Now, this would be a really good card to get in this particular energy. Because uh, I'm sorry, did I say swords? Yes, because this is this is representing that you are very much aware and you want to move away from what no longer serves you. But uh, 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 this is you 
feeling a low freaking level of sadness. And this represents you trying to keep your head above water, in my opinion. You are no longer, you're not, the card represents a person. It's depicting this individual who is on the boat and leaving. You see that focus light? There we go. But I'm not convinced about that. I There's so many things that we can pull out of this card. And what I'm pulling out, I'm surprised the two of swords didn't come out. What I'm pulling out is the fact that you're avoiding. You are depressed. It could indicate traveling, not in this particular case. It could be recovering. I don't believe you're recovering from anything. You are full-blown wrapped up into this to the point where it's got to the bottom. There's nowhere else to go. The great thing about um, hitting your ten of swords and, and, and feeling like you are completely mentally gone out of there is the fact that there's nowhere else to go but up. Okay? You're feeling like the Page of Wands. I feel like you are repressing this in a very childlike way. That's what I'm feeling. You're passionate. You're throwing, maybe you're throwing your passion into this work. I mean, from a financial standpoint, you're looking good. Congratulations on the money. You're getting that bag. You are earth energy. So you, you, you know, finances is cracking. But something needs your attention. And you're not giving it your attention. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the swords, cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, and a Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. I'm just going to put the Aquarius with the earth signs, huh? Seven of cups. Seven of cups. Look at what's on the bottom of this. The damn same six of swords. This is letting me know that you are depressed. And I, I'm not dealing with anything clinical. I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. But what I'm telling you is this. The bottom of this deck, a completely different deck's energy. Look, I can't make it up. There's the ten of wands. That is what I keep stopping. Every time I stop, it's confirming something that's already here. You better not get another ten. You better not. This King of Pentacles is the X. This Two of Pentacles is you juggling new and old. This is one of new abundance. This could be another person. I don't know yet. Well, this could be the fact that you're pregnant or maybe it has something to do with if we pull out the metaphor of this car, maybe there's children involved. Maybe there's a pregnancy. This page of wands can also indicate a child, a child with a lot of fire, a child that's very enthusiastic could definitely indicate a child. I'm not getting it. If I keep dropping these cards, <laughs> I'm not taking any of these guys, but cards have been falling out of my hand all night. Get ugly all night. The star, the lovers, the four of cups, the king of wands. Two of Pentacles again. The Wheel. Temperance. The Five of Swords. The Fool. The World and the Ace. I'm not taking any of those. We're going to definitely shuffle this really good while we get down to the bottom of what's going on. Um, I'm feeling like for some of you, this indicates a child. You can either be avoiding like a child. There's children. We're going to clarify. Um, I feel as if, and I'm sorry I had to do all of this, but everything got completely, here we go. I feel as if this burden has just about killed you. Definitely. Okay. I feel like you need to mentally take a break. You have to disconnect. You have to clear your energy, period. It doesn't matter whether it has anything to do with an ex. It doesn't matter whether it has something to do with kids. It doesn't matter whether it has something to do with the options that are represented here in this seven of cups. What I'm telling you is, is you have people 
what did I what did I start off saying? You just have people nitpicking and just gnawing away at you like freaking squirrels, Virgo. And you have got to take care of you. You are doing too much. There is a lot going on in these cards. But there is one situation that is just about killing you. And I believe it has something to do with the ex. But I do feel like these, these seven, the seven, it, I don't necessarily think that this just has something to do with option. I don't, I honestly don't think that it has anything to do with options. The options that are presented to us in a romantic sense. Oh, no, 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 no. This is life shit. The choices that you have are the choices that you're going to make that's going to affect you moving forward um, when you release this act. I don't feel like this Seven of Cups presents romantic options. This Seven of Cups presents, if I take this cup, this is what happens. If I focus on this cup, this is what happens as it pertains to this act. This is what I'm feeling. Venus will be going direct. Venus will not be operating at 100% though. Um, this is coming because retrograde is forcing you to take a step back and really operate in this six of swords. Not from the standpoint where you are having to experience the blues and the lows and all of that. No. It's asking you to release this energy. Clarify the six of swords. Jesus. Clarify the six of swords, spirit. So. Yeah. If you release this X, there's a loss. The loss is of a financial nature. The teamwork, co-parenting, um, um, ex-spouse. The, the teamwork and, and, and working together that is represented in this card is clarifying the six. The more you think about the fact that you have to let this go, that's what's giving you the blues. It has nothing to do with anything new. This is all past energy. Clarify this burden, the ten of swords. Clarify this mental burden, please. Queen of Swords, a very cutting energy. Maybe this represents the ex. You don't like the way this person talks to you. The shit that comes out of this queen's mouth, it could be masculine or feminine. Doesn't matter. It can go back and forth. We're pulling the energy out of the car. She don't take no shit. And honestly... This could represent the rhetoric that has been going back and forth between you guys. Clarify the five of cups. Either way, what you need to accept is the fact that regardless of how this person treated you, you definitely feel hurt by it. If you can allow yourself to feel the emotion of hurt, full blown hurt and let down out of this five of cups, then you still love this person. Get ugly. What's clarifying that is the empress. This lets me know that you're a wife. This is an ex-spouse. This person is the wife. We got the empress twice. There is, this is a marriage. And if it's not a, if it's not a marriage, this is a baby mama or a baby daddy. You guys, then I feel like I'm going to pull the, uh, the fertility, the, the fact that this empress is pregnant. This involves a child or a marriage. Clarify this ten of pentacles. And I'm going to re-clarify this to now. This is a whole nother lady, but I don't see this yet. I do see three. The hermit. So you went within. 
for contemplation. This is clarifying my Ten of Pentacles. I'm still not getting a clear picture yet. The Seven of Cups is the Ten is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. This was somebody that you had something with, Virgo. Um, this is our third ten. Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Ten of Pentacles is twice. This is definitely money. Definitely gonna be a loss of money. This pinnacle lets me know that if you choose, if you choose to leave this X represented by one of these cups, because that clarified the seven, you're gonna lose teamwork, you're gonna lose money. I'm not going to say you're going to lose a child, but maybe custody of a child, although I do not see the Libra scales. I believe that if my empress is rep is clarifying my five of cups, this is the loss of everything that makes the empress great. Abundance, the facility, a marriage, a baby. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Spirit. All of these are trying to pop out. Clarify the Queen. Ooh, yes. Eight of Wands. The Hangman. Somebody wants this to be over. And somebody doesn't. Or this is you, Virgo. On one hand, you want to make a quick conclusion and you want there to be um, no more delay in ending this relationship represented by the Ten of Swords here, the ending. But on the other hand, you're not sure. See that? Two cards represent uh, clarifying that, that queen. I've got to clarify this empress. Clarify the empress. Who is she? What is this representing, please? Clarify the empress. Hmm. One. I feel like this goes back to this three. We got a lot of freaking threes here. Choices. Somebody has another party. We got the three of wands and we got the three of pence. Somebody brought another person into this. Made it even more complicated. Clarify the hermit. There's too much teamwork. But I don't feel like this is the ex. I don't know. There is too many people stirring the pot, Virgo. Woo, baby. There we go again with your options. Two sevens. You're confused. What is clarifying my hermit, which is clarifying my ten of pentacles, you are going to lose some money. This is two sevens, which indicate confusion. You got the seven of cups twice. You are hella confused. Clarify this ten of pentacles. Yeah. The king of pentacles. This king of pentacles has come out twice. Then I tell you that this king of pentacles was the ex. There he is again, baby. Your energy brings this damn king out all the time. Oh, my God. Brings the damn king out all the time. There we go with the empress twice. Okay. I ain't playing with you no more, Virgo. The king of pentacles is the ex that you need to release. The tens in here, this, this ten of pentacles, this three of pentacles. We got 10 of pentacles twice. 
This person either has money, this person uh, took care of you financially, this person takes care of the kids financially. This is an ending, a death, a, or a, a ending of a marriage that has something to do with a child. Spousal support. Look at this. Look, I can't make this shit up. Look at this. Two five betrayal. God damn. Bottom of the damn deck. Five of cups. Okay, so here we go. Um, there's a third person. The chariot. The damn two of wands. Didn't I have that already? I bet not. I thought I had that too. I got the three. I thought I saw the two of wands. Goddamn, Virgo. Cancer card with the chariot. Look at this. Five of swords. King of cups. Listen. The king of cups is the third person. This king of cups is the third person. Tell me we ain't got the hangman twice. I'm about to scream. Okay. Listen, this is a lot. This involves a cycle ending. This relationship needs to come to a close and you need to release this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles has mind control over you. This King of Pentacles talk to you all types of crazy ass ways. This King of Pentacles is ruthless, but this King of Pentacles, you or the King of Pentacles betray each other or you betray the King of Pentacles because there is betrayal here and someone just wants this shit to be over with. But I, Virgo, I personally feel like you're the one that's holding this up. I feel like this other person is ready to get on with this shit. Yeah, I feel like you are the one that's holding on to them. You could be blaming it on the fact that you can't do something by yourself. Um, and I just showed you the Ten of Pentacles and the, and the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is here. This person has also been very cutting in the way that they speak to you. This person has been a MF, okay? But at the same time, you need to disconnect from the world and make a decision. Spirit is telling you that you really do need to do this. Um, this King of Pentacles is all over the damn place. The Empress is here twice. Um, children, a bun uh, uh, fertility. Listen, um, some of you guys, you got to go back and forth with child support. This is baby mama, baby daddy. Others of you guys, this is your ex-spouse. You're still married. Somebody introduced the third party into this union. I see betrayal, but the Virgo doesn't want to let go. The energies can go back and forth. Take it as it resonates. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. Um, this is one of them damn readings that I should have extended, but I don't do that yet. I'm, it's coming, but I just don't have time. Okay. If that's rocking with your energy, Virgo, and you want me to get a little bit personal, you know how to get in contact with me if you want me to read what's for you. Okay. I don't feel like these need clarification. I feel like this is telling you exactly what you need to do. Period. That's it. It's always a pleasure to read for you guys. Please like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Virgo, I need to hear from you. I need for you to comment and let me know what's good with this, okay? That's what I'm getting. I didn't see a lot of love on the, for the person that you're connecting with. I did see a King of Cups, and I did see that there's betrayal, and it was a third party that ended this relationship, the breakup. But I will say this. Typically, your uh, I, I, I nickname your Virgo spreads, the Teller Two spreads. This wasn't the, the Teller Two spreads. Spirit is telling you that you need to deal with this marriage or deal with this child support situation. You can't let you can't hold on to it. You can't act like it doesn't exist. OK. All right.
Let me know if it resonates with you. Like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and comment. Drop it below. You know I'm going to contact you. I got to get out of here and get Scorpio done. Okay? Bonquet. Bye, Virgo.